Something like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good, Nick. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Felt like it was an apology. Nah, I, 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 Jordan, you should probably keep it to the point where I started laughing. What up? All right, so what I am working on right now is my vehicle. It um, shooting a couple codes, and just because it's a odd duck of a car, I have an alternator that is coolant cooled or liquid cooled. And to buy a new one, it's very, 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 very expensive. And then also, um, I need a mass airflow sensor for it. So, oh no, I I thought the mass airflow sensor was right here and right here, but it looks that it's not, huh? I wish I would have looked at this because now I feel stupid. So, my mass airflow sensors are supposed to go right there, but, um, yeah, I don't know. And they seem to be stupid, stupid expensive. So, that's what I'm working on right now. And then once I get the parts, I will take it to the mechanic shop and get it fixed. But I find that a Porsche has got very expensive parts. They're also hard to find. You can't go to O'Reilly's or AutoZone or Advance. And, um, uh, that's what I'm trying to work out on right now. Ultimately, today, has been a day full of finances and talking about how we're navigating the winter months. It's slow for us a little bit and uh, you know, working on it that way. So yeah, but uh, other than that, that's what we're after today. So that's um, pretty much everything I have going on. Um, my wife's gonna see this and think that I don't actually work at all, but that's not true. Yeah, it kinda, it kinda makes you rethink because I actually haven't owned a vehicle since 2014 until about maybe July of this year. Uh, well, me and my wife, we own a van, and then my dad bought me a truck that I drove years ago, and then I just kind of drove a spare truck once I, I changed my life and got my license back. Um, if, if you know my story, if not, you just have to dig back in the archives to hear my story. But um, anyway, I, I bought um, a Mercedes E350 middle of this year, and I just paid cash for it. And then I traded that one straight up, well, yeah, I pretty much traded that one straight up for another Mercedes, and it was way, way too fast. And I traded that Mercedes straight up for this Porsche, so uh, I just been just been wheeling and dealing, you know. Um, I kind of enjoy it, but it's also kind of stressful because you don't know if you're getting a lemon or not, you know. So, um, you know, just, just to clarify, like, um, we're really just going to be showing our our day-to-day, -day, things we're doing, things we're working on, um, you know, the, the fact of the matter is, like, you know, we're just some guys and we don't have it all together. We've got passion and ambition and um, we just we just put in the work, you know, want to provide for our families. You know, once, once, I think it's something important to know, once you, you know, you do have some success and you do... Uh, make some money or whatever you figure out real quick that it, that it is just money and it, it really didn't even take me a year to figure that out you know uh, automatically uh, you still have this you know Jesus shaped hole in your heart no matter what material things you buy or the things you do or the places you go and luckily you know I was able to figure that out early on I'm not saying that I don't like um, nice things or you know, but uh, I want to be able to provide for my family. So, you know, just some, just something that I've learned pretty quickly that uh, uh, we all here, everyone, you know, all general managers and everybody, we all make pretty good money, but we also live a very balanced life. You know, my wife knows that after about five or 5:30, I'm going to be home every night. I don't, I don't, you know, we just don't, don't do a lot. If we go eat once a week, go out and eat once a week, but. But my time just, it really comes here and I want like, uh, and something that I've learned is my priorities have changed, you know, especially being in business. The, my ultimate goals is to provide my family very, very well. And then also be able to um, provide for my employees, you know. I want all my employees, see I, I don't have a bunch of employees um, to make me more money. I want all of my guys to be able to make as much money as I do. Like if, 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 if I had the option to make a million dollars a year and my guys make 300,000, they would probably be pretty happy, but I'd rather us all make $500,000 a year. Do we make anything like that? No, no, it's just a, just a frame of reference. So I don't know, man, that's just kind of, kind of where I, where I'm at my wants and, um, desires. They've all, it just all changes, you know, 
Um, and, and I think those are the biggest burdens on my heart and in my life is taking care of my, uh, my employees and their families and doing the best I can with them and encouraging them and uh, pointing them in the right direction in life uh, as well as they, they do me and providing for my family. Um, so, yeah, man, just to clarify, these vlogs, they're going to be all over the place. They might be about my personal life or Dalton's personal life or Nick's or John's. Or one day I may be at the off-road park. One day I might be riding around in a slingshot. One day I may be, you know, trying to grow our detail company. You know, you just never know. Right now I'm, I'm trying to make sure I get these parts ordered and get them in before Christmas before I have a broken, nice car. That would really suck. Um, but we do have something for you all today. It's going to be called Teaching Time with Dalton. All right, guys, so what we got going on here, uh, vlog guy busted in on me. We're starting a little wedding commercial for what we got going on here during the, trying to take advantage of this wedding season coming up. So I uh, got a bunch of shots. As we, down here at DSC, what we do, we do a lot of stuff with slow motion. So I'm fairly new to a lot of it, but I do know numbers. So if I'm any good at anything, I'm good with numbers. So uh, got this cool little two and a half second shot. Dylan acting crazy, he's just walking with this light. If you play it normally, it looks completely useless. Now, our timeline's at 23.976, it's pretty standard. Uh, but, unless somebody's talking, we shoot at 59.94, or 119.88, what is it, 88, I think. We've got a couple different options. If you're at 119.88, if you want to divide it down equally, straight up, perfectly into a 23.976 timeline, the proper percentage for that, go up to your speed duration, you want to make sure that you're reducing that by 20%. Basically saying that uh, 23.976 goes into 119.88 five times equally. So reducing that by 20%, which 20% is one fifth of 100, uh, you will get a smooth, crisp image. And I've drug out to basically 10 seconds. And this is gonna be one of the best shots. So we've got a two and a half second shot that's gonna be probably what we're gonna start or what we're gonna end on. So that's just some basic time or some uh, speed duration tricks that we do here. And for five point or five nine, fifty nine point nine four, reduce that down. That's forty percent. You know, so if you're indoor and you need that shutter speed to be reduced a little bit because it's dark, uh, you gotta cut it down to sixty frames per second. Forty percent is what you're looking for. So, so yeah. If I'm good for anything, I'm good for numbers. So. I guess we'll catch y'all next time if, if I've got anything else I feel I can help y'all with. Hey guys, listen, I couldn't be on the blog today. I was a little busy, but next time. But I got to get back to it. <laughs> Something like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good, Nick. <laughs> yeah, that's good. It felt like it was an apology. No, I, 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 Jordan, you should probably keep it to the point where I started laughing. Yeah. So that was good, Nick. <laughs>